What's up, everybody? This is your girl, EJ, and I am serving you uh, busted and disgusted. Uh, Bummy Couture. Uh, I don't know if this is too close or too far because I've only been using a mic uh, for maybe a month. This may be uh, the most random video I've ever done. Uh, so there will be a focal point, right? But then there will be random inserts um, just because. I put pinto beans in my crock pot uh, around eight o'clock this morning and they were done uh, by four o'clock. And I feel like I need grandbabies. Like why, why didn't you cook something that didn't take hours in a crock pot, big mama? So I feel like at this point, when it comes down to daytime television, uh, especially the toxic ones like Maury, uh, divorce court, paternity court, because you know the toxic ones are the best. I feel like it is doing us a disservice to continue with new seasons uh, and having virtual appearances. And I really feel like y'all owe us some reruns, you know, because if he's deemed not the father, how she gonna take off running in her house? There's no camera crew. I feel like that takes the authenticity of the level of toxicity of the show and I just feel like we deserve reruns uh, when it comes down to court TV. You know, if you gotta put on a whole NASA shield, you know, just just don't invite the people in. Just don't go to the court audience. Just stay at home. Let just keep showing the reruns. So we are two days away from Christmas 2020, uh, if it in fact comes. And just in case you guys are feeling bummy about not being able to go shopping or not being able to uh, buy things that you wanted to buy. I'm talking about like the people that maybe didn't have enough money, um, the people that had other things to come up and interfered with how they were going to spend for Christmas and, you know, on their loved ones. I just want to send like a small word of encouragement to you. Girl, stop tripping. I understand the pressure to buy nice things and, you know, make sure your children have things that you didn't always have. But uh, at the price of your mental peace, I just feel like we all just need to take some chill pills and not worry about it. <laughs> I also feel like uh, this is the perfect time to lie and say, I did send you that gift. I don't, I don't know what's taking the postal service so long. You know, you, you don't even have to feel bad about not buying it. Just say you bought it and blame it on a post office. Girl, we don't, we don't have time for these voluntary mental burdens. Okay. To the single parents uh, that couldn't buy everything they wanted to buy, you rock. You have been doing awesome. I know you were struggling with virtual. Mm -hmm. I know you, I know, I know, but you have been doing awesome. Okay. Chill pill. I was looking in the mirror today and I realized that I needed to shave my chin and my neck. And that, that didn't make me feel, that didn't make me feel good. Also, another reason to stop tripping about shopping for Christmas and not being able to afford it. Girl, everything going to go on sale as soon as December 26th come. Everything going to be on sale. Just I'm telling you, just wait. If you can buy something, buy it. And then if you can't, lie on the post office. I'm literally giving you the answers here. Um, I'm burnt out on Thanksgiving menu foods. Like, don't say dressing. Don't say collard greens, cabbage. I'm burnt out. To the people who are mourning the loss of a loved one, uh, maybe this is your first Christmas without them. Just want to send you some love and some light because I can only imagine how hard it is. I'm really ready for things to go back to the way they were. And I know that it, it may never go back. I told my husband I didn't want to exchange gifts this year because... You got me like what what else could I go and get you? I mean, you have <laughs> but he was not really we weren't on the same page about that. So anyway, I really just wanted to come on here and do like a mental check in with you guys because uh, I know that some of you are struggling 
um, with Christmas and shopping. We have been through a lot this year and Christmas was not going to pause until we got ourselves together. But that doesn't mean you have to like keep layering the burdens on yourself. You know, oh my God, now I got to wear a mask all day at work. And oh my God, I got to work from home. And these people talk to me like I'm crazy. And oh my God, now I got to do all this Christmas shopping. I'm just saying, if you could go Christmas shopping, okay, great. But if you can't, it's okay. It's okay. It, it's okay. Like even if you don't lie on the post office, it is, it is okay. Take some of that pressure off of yourself when you can do it and you still want to because girl we be changing our minds because I was going to get him a whole four wheeler and then when I went up there they didn't have no more so he said come back in January but I don't think I'm going to go back you don't have to go back like I said this was just a quick check in uh, probably one of the most random videos I've ever done or will ever do um, and I'm okay with that so uh, check in let me know how you guys are doing did you do a lot of Christmas shopping um, if you weren't able to are you okay? Are you are you burdening yourself or are you allowing yourself that space that says I'm still okay with this because it's not that big of a deal. So thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Happy holidays. Um, be safe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.